But here, this is something new. This is the first time this will be played out. One over eliminator. A lot of things have changed in this game. Now we're seeing one over eliminator to decide a tied 2020 star. The Tory will bowl to Gale. Batsman out there with Gale is Marshall. The fielders need to be in the restricting area. Laws apply a wide, a no ball, and here we go. Gill to face the Vittori. And it's in the air, it's gone, it's gone. Back, 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 and a far way back, way back. Gill starts with a six. This is mano on mano right here. Right here. Vittori went for the quicker one first up, dragged it. Gail was good enough to take control. Gale again, down the ground, just one this time, they'll think of a second, yes, Marshall says, come on for it, he's there, no, very, very close, the last for the television replay. Back on strike, definitely worth risking a wicket, great gather from Vittor and he gets it there, it's a comfortable decision. So, Mark. same way as uh, the expert to my right mark a former test player of course and he knows and made the point that it was worth taking the second to get Gale back on the strike it counts as one they did complete one so it counts as one and Gale has the strike four balls left in the over if now Gale is out that's it Shudrain Chandapur comes in to join him to Gale there he goes that's another six from big Chris Gale a big one straight down the ground the gamble pays off the gamble has paid off. Pushing that extra run, put Gale back on strike. And because of straight back over Vittori's head, flat and hard into the stand. There he goes again. That's on, it's gone even further. Christopher Gale. Appropriate name for the captain. Take a bow. It was the arm ball, but it wasn't full enough. This man fractionally missed, and he will not. He looked angry. He looked cross when his side blew apart. Corey, round the wicket to him now. There he goes again, down the ground, and it's gone for four between two fielders. Well, we know Chris Gale. We know of his power. We know his strength. And he's producing it here against the bowler. In the match itself, bowled four overs and took two, three for a 16. Now he's gone three times for six and now for a four. And her arm balls. He's tried for the flat style delivery, Vittori, and he's missed. It's the ball. There goes Gale again. It's got snow on as it comes down. They've run one, they've run two. And that's the end of it. Chris Gale from the Eliminator over has cracked 25 all by himself and now it's down to Suleiman Ben for the West Indies and to Ross Taylor and the others for New Zealand well he's smiling now Chris Carl isn't he Boy, he looked an angry man before he came out the bat and he took some frustration out all right he took it out on the New Zealanders in particular the New Zealand captain 25 from the over he was charged with the responsibility and boy did he take it, this man is stealing the show. Against New Zealand, but look at the reaction around this ground. Yes, I'm not. Look at the reaction. Ovation all around for Chris Gale as he comes back. They're stunned, but they know that they've seen something quite special. And they've got to see something extra special now if uh, New Zealand are going to win the match. Here's the man who has the destiny of this match in his uh, left arm. It's Suleiman Ben. He'll be feeling uh, a little better, and uh, I think quite grateful for what his captain's just done for him. That, you know, it's not over. And the love. No one's moved.
and we've had a big crowd in today now, or at least in the nearest pub. Thompson now Suleiman Ben inexperienced in relation to Daniel Vittori, both left arm spinners, both different in style, vastly different in experience. Ben has not had much at international level. Vittori has been in the international scene since he was a teenager. On, on Ben. Some furious hitters, some well-known hitters are coming out yet. Six balls will be goal. Ross Taylor batted superbly today. Brandon McCallum also a big hitter. West Indies players look quite relaxed. He's going to take first crack at it. And it's not often that Jacob Warren will take strike to a bowler who's taller than him. Suleiman Ben. Yeah, and I think uh, the difference between himself and Daniel Vittori in the situation has been his use to bowling quicker. Daniel Vittori went for the quicker style delivery. As Daniel Vittori is used to actually, under pressure, taking the pace off the ball, bowling his slower style delivery. Blast for sixes. If that happens here, tension will mount further. Gale very meticulous in his field setting. Checking with the umpires, something. 26 to win, that's it, first ball, six. Repetition of what Gale did. Heap of a start. Just cleared that front leg and hit the door. Well, the run one, come for a second, a little bit of hesitation. And they get home. Stumps were broken. Yeah, a, a bail off. In the air. Is that another six? It's going to be a catch. And taken. Marshall it is. So Jacob with a six. Then a couple of buys. Eight now. West Indies. Justin didn't get it. He's proven hard to get hold of. Has been. No, that was just a simple catch. So Oram goes. Got things away to a, a great start when he hit a big six. And he just couldn't repeat the dose. Here comes McCullum. Needing three sixes off the. Now the batsman crossed while the ball was in the air. So that Taylor will have the strike. the boundary and gone that has to be eight it's gone for six now was it too high for the fast delivery surely well, best of my knowledge it's any bowler isn't it well it shouldn't I mean you can whack it as that one was whacked two sixes needed and when's the cutoff when's the cutoff who's the first bowler and who is it Yep. Seven. So it must only be the one with a no ball. That went for seven. Oh, yeah! That's it. All over. Western is at one. Ben Bowles. Ross Taylor and the West Indies have won the first ever 2020 international to be decided by an eliminator over. Two batsmen out. The West Indies have won a match that looked as if it was in their control all the way through until about the halfway stage when Gale was out. They collapsed towards the end. The scores were level 150. Chris Gale once again, who won it for the West Indies with his sensational hitting of Daniel Vittori. Sulon Ben uh, just picked up the two wickets in that over, but it was too much for New Zealand to do to get the 25, indeed the 26 that they needed off the six balls of the eliminate over. So the West Indies won. This is the West Indies in 2020 cricket. New Zealand won the toss. If we go back to the start of the game, and they decided to bat maybe 20 runs short. The bowling for the West Indies to stand out for them was Solomon Ben. Four overs. A Gale, he is having one heck of a tour. 67 from 41, 28. Oh. The bowling Mills was very good, four overs, one for 27. Tim Southey had a tough start after normal play.
155 for seven, New Zealand, versus 155 for eight, be the West Indies.